Sarah Crampton. And this is Hudson, my handsome thoroughbred cross. And we are going to talk about why you should use a standing martingale, or when you should use your standing martingale, and when you shouldn't, and also how to adjust it properly um, so that it's being used properly. It is most often used with a snaffle bit. It can also be used with a pelham bit. Um, it is very popular in the hunter arena. And um, the disadvantages of the standing martingale is that you have no control to loosen it should the situation arise that you need to give your horse more neck, such as you're on a trail ride going through water and he puts his head down or he falls and now he's trying to put his head up to get up, the standing martingale would restrict him and in that case be dangerous. So for cross country, open jumping, jumping the big jumps, or trail riding, a running martingale is much more safe. However, if you are going to use a standing martingale, it, the round loop on the end goes on the nose band, like so, right in the middle of his little groove there underneath his chin. And the buckle end, which is adjustable, goes on the girth. And Hudson's being a very good boy to so, although I probably said that too soon. So you put the loop on the end. You also have a uh, runner here to snug it up to your girth so it doesn't gape open. And you need to slide it, make sure it's in the middle. And then how do you know if you have it adjusted correctly? Well, the um, neck piece should be snug enough to stay in place and not hang down too low, but there's really no reason to have it snug. It's just holding that martingale up. It's just holding that piece of leather up. And then another thing that people often don't know is that you need to use a running martingale stop on that piece of leather so it doesn't slide down like that. So that piece of rubber keeps it snug, keeps it up out of the way of the horse's legs. And this is a brand new martingale. Actually, it's a toe clap from the toe clap manufacturing company. So it's a little stiff, but it would get a little more flexible once it's oiled and saddle soaked and used. But the rule, the how do you know if it is adjusted correctly? You just pick the martingale up and it should come up into the throat latch like this. And that extra is the guidelines for your horse having that much room to put his head up. But as you can see, there's going to be a limit to how high his head can go. So if you're galloping down a line of fences and you're going around the corner and your horse tosses his head, he will be restricted. Um, as to how far up in the air his head can go. So those are the pros and cons and the way to adjust a standing martingale. Thank you very much.